guys, today we're making candy apple salad. This is perfect for a before Halloween treat, for like a party, or it's really good to use like leftover candy um, from your kids' trick or treating boxes. So, all we need is um, six mini candy bars or three large candy bars. And then some apples. We like to use butterscotch pudding. Um, it has kind of like a caramel flavor to it. It's really yummy. We like to add some nuts for some healthy part of it. <laughs> some walnuts. Some whipping cream. Um, so that's all you need. And we'll just put it all together. So, let's start with cutting the apple. I like to cut my apples like this. Yeah, and I like, yeah, and you can leave the skins on for it too. Yeah, definitely. Extra fiber. Yep. That looks good. Do we need more? Yeah. Let's do a couple more. <laughs> what are we adding? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Really? Ooh. <laughs> So we're gonna put whipping cream in. I love to do, like make my own whipping cream. It's super easy, um, but you can do cool with too if you want. I just find this has richer flavor. So we're gonna do, we're just gonna pour in whatever we think we need. <laughs> Maybe not. That's probably good. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Just like that. Two cups, maybe? Yeah, probably two and a half cups. -ish. Two and a half cups, okay. Yep. Cup of a milk, a milk, and then this is some pudding powder, maybe that's what it's called. And I'm just gonna pour it in. Okay. And then you're gonna mix it? Yeah. Perfect. That looks good. Caramely, right? Yeah. I think it's a good idea. Do you remember that one with the skin thing that we had and we just had a <laughs> Yes. Once you've whipped it up, you add sugar to it and make sure there's stiff peaks. So Perfect. we're gonna. Oh, yeah, and we're done with our pudding stuff. Yeah. Yep, yeah, looks good. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> So today's been such a great day. It's getting a little chilly out. So today we're having, we're gonna make gnocchi um, soup. And I don't have any rotisserie chicken on hand, so I am gonna um, boil my own chicken. But if you have rotisserie chicken, it's gonna cut your time a little bit. It, um, I would say almost in half. Okay, so to your stock pot, I put in probably, I would say about six cups of water. And then I also put this in seasoning, because I'm gonna put my meat in there. And it's just a chicken flavor bouillon. Okay, so if you don't have that, you can, you, you don't have to, you can just use some salt. The better than bouillon's yeah. really good too. So we're gonna do that so far, and then we're just gonna put our chicken in until it's done. I, I don't know, how long does that take out? Just until seven. you can shred it with a fork. So we're gonna put that on first, okay guys? If I can turn my gas on. There we go. Okay, awesome. 
And then we're just gonna, I have family coming over, you guys. So I'm doing about, I think it's like six to seven breasts because we have a lot of people coming over. Yeah, you got the big pot out, Mom. I do. I have the great big pot. Our pots are small. This one's big. So we got a big pot this time. Okay, and then this is going to come to a boil, and then when you can shred it with a fork, it's ready. And then don't dump out this, um, this broth. You're going to use it. Hi everyone, so we have a ton of apples left from the orchard and we are going to use them to make a really good an apple bread with a streusel topping. Um, it's super easy and really good. So, um, we are going to have, in this I have one cup of milk. I'm just gonna add all my wet ingredients in here. So it's gonna be two eggs to my one cup of milk. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, that one didn't want to come. Did I just drop a piece in there? Get in there and look. Did I, Mom? Get in there me. and look. <laughs> I don't think you did, sister. Okay. There was a weird shell. You know when you get those weird ones and yeah. you like do one crack and the whole thing is just like. Amanda's in there looking for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think she's okay. I just wanted to be safe. Okay. And then um, I need half a cup of oil. Sorry, let me get a piece. <laughs> She thought she was prepared. I thought I was. Sorry. Half a cup of oil. I'm just using, this is a super light olive oil, mm -hmm. but use whatever oil you guys have. Coconut would've been good too, I think. Yeah. Whatever you use. Okay, I'm just gonna mix these together. Make sure there's no shell in there. <laughs> that is the kids, mom. Do I know? Okay. All right, for the dry ingredients, I have two cups of flour, one cup of white sugar, <laughs> and then we're going to do, this is a half, so one half. And then for your cinnamon, you really can do as much as you like. I'm gonna do two teaspoons. Does that sound good, Mom? Oh, yeah, I like it. Okay, or should I do more, does that sound good? Whatever it says, I would this do it. This one. Mm -hmm. This is just a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three and four. Okay. And then I just need some salt. This is just a half a teaspoon. Okay. I'm just gonna whisk this together. Here's our dry ingredients. That looks great. Yeah. Now for this bread, I usually like to tell people don't over mix your bread. It makes it like tough. Mm -hmm. So. That's why I'm doing this. So this is done. I'm gonna add in our wet ingredients. Mm -hmm. And this is um, one cup of apple. Let me measure it out. This actually looks a little more than that cup. Is it? Yeah. Do you want all of it in there or extra? Oh no, let's just do what it says. Okay, so this is one cup. I diced mine up super fine, like small, but do yeah. yours however you guys like to do it. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm just gonna mix it till it's incorporated. Oh, milk! Oh, I did the milk. <laughs> Today's October 1st, and I was like, I'm gonna wear a sweater, but it almost doesn't feel cool enough here to wear one. It's still, no, it's it was like 55 out, man. Is, it, is this, I don't know. Yeah. Hey. That looks delicious. Hey. Okay, that see? Natural. That's so good, right? Okay. This is going to go into a bread pan. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna divide it, divide it into two. I would too. Because it'll cook a lot faster. Yeah. Uh -huh. At 325 for 60 minutes. Exactly, yep. Okay. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys. Say it to say it. Make sure to like and subscribe. This is hard work, man. <laughs> I was thinking too, Amanda, is try it, one of the like secrets is like, I people like to cook theirs like on 350, 375. To make a really good, any mm. bread, sweet bread, is 325 for one hour. It's good. Okay. Does anybody you guys buy um, candy and the Halloween candy? It's and then, gone in like three days. Yeah, the Halloween bowl is almost empty because you have a, a guy like this one that's eating all the treats. Huh? You eating all the treats? Okay. Let me get my hand out. It looks great, sis. Does what it do look, oh, it's so thick. Our I, banana I bread is usually it. a lot wetter, but. I would leave it. Okay. I would do it with a dad. <laughs> Stephanie, what does your sweat, sweatshirt say, sweetie? What does your sweatshirt say, honey? 
Rodeo Freedom. Freedom. That is awesome. You know you're kind of matching because I have my skeleton one on, honey. Yeah. Yep. I want to break the lid. Why don't we try first the small one and then maybe the old blue one? Because sometimes they work the best. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let me clear this space off. Okay. Wow. Eggnog too, huh? You still put chest on your hair. <laughs> you mean hair you on your You think so? You think so, handsome? <laughs> Love you. Okay. Look really at that cause of trouble over there. There's another oh, cause of trouble, handsome. Yeah. What's going on your block? Huh? Yep. <laughs> We're setting up a game. We have this cute professional here. Yeah. And then the babies are over there. Baby <laughs> <laughs> dump a lot. Baby dump. It always comes out so quick, don't it? Yeah, it does. That's why I want to put in that little blue bo or white bottle. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. We'll just dump it into this, this one. Okay. I don't, I don't know. We just don't want it to stick, do we, sis? No. They don't usually stick too bad in those glass ones, though. Hey, how does it look, Mom? Yeah, it looks great. Right. And then I'm going to so do this good. one, too. It'll just cook a lot faster if I do it mm -hmm. this way. And then I won't have to worry about the middle being doughy. I really don't like that. Yeah, it hates it, actually. Yeah. Okay. What's that eggnog doing, Lara? Oh, I know. I mean... What do you do when you're trying to film with a teenager around? This is around? super thick. It's supposed to be like that, sister. Okay. Yeah. This is my first time I'm making this, so I hope you like it. I think it's going to be really good, guys. It looks good. Okay, let me get the rest of this out. Amanda's going to post our apple pie filling break, sis, too. Yes. It is so We're going to do that. Good. You're going to love it. It turned out great. Actually, we probably have to make a little more. Yeah, oh, they turned out pretty, didn't they? Yeah. Hey, yeah. okay, how's it look? So good. Don't waste that. I know, I gotta get it, get it in there. Out. Okay. So, again, 325 for 60 minutes. Yes. Can we turn the oven on? Okay. So, we're gonna add a little crunch on top. Um, I'm just gonna do some chopped walnuts. I think it'll look really pretty too once it's baked. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. And then. What is this sugar called, Mom? It's I, a coarse sugar. So I have a coarse sugar. It looks like this. I like. I'm sorry, to, you guys. I don't know the name of it. It's I like a coarse to just sugar. put a little on top. It makes it really pretty. It gives it a good crunch, too, yeah. guys. Like, yeah. actually, I want a little extra even. A little more, Mom? Yeah, and just a little extra because I it's love really it. really pretty. Yeah. And then so, what everybody likes to take the top off because it t puts this really good crunch on it. Yeah. Okay. It's so cute. So we end up being like a medium one, and would you say a small one? Mm -hmm. So, okay. You want to put in the oven? I think the oven's ready. Yeah. I'm saving the stock from the chicken. And then, because we're going to fry our, or not fry, but saute the vegetables. That looks good, Mom. So, let me grab my stuff real fast. Okay. Okay, guys, so to your um, stock pot, add your vegetables that you guys like. I did sweet potatoes, onions, carrots, and I'm going to do a ton of corn, so like corn. And then we also did um, a zucchini. It's a yellow zucchini. And so, so did you do celery? And celery, because okay. Amanda loves celery. So, and fry sweet it up. potato. Yep, we're going to fry it up, give it a really good flavoring. And then I add a, about a tablespoon of garlic and pepper. Okay. And then I also add just a little bit of the Montreal steak. And the reason why I do that, it has everything in it. That way I'm not having to do that. And I'll just eat a little bit of that like that. That's it. So now to the rest of the pot, we're going to add our chicken. How much is that, Mom? Oh, it was like, looks like three cups probably. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. Oh, three three cups about three to four cups of chicken. Okay. Put that in there. And then to the pot, we're going to add two of your bags of snow peas. But then again, like I said, we'll make it big. You probably would only do one. <laughs> yeah. Right? And then two. I love these things. If you've never had them, you guys should try them. They are good. I like them too. I love them. And then we're going to add the, your stock back in. Okay? It's hot. Be really careful. Oh, it's hot, guys. Careful, Mom. Oh, my word. Yeah, don't break those. You can drop that on your foot, honey. 
Oh. Hi. Don't drop that on your foot, honey. <laughs> You just doing more stuff, Mom? Yes, so to this hot, you guys, I'm adding just a little bit of garlic. And you also can do fresh garlic, you guys, I love that one. And then I did a little bit of, um, let me show you, a little bit of parsley, a little bit of sage since it's fall. Sage is great, I like yeah. sage. <laughs> it got me. <laughs> okay, and then for the pot, another just sprinkle, okay, guys? I'm gonna just do a little bit of flour to thicken it up, and then just a little bit. So we're almost done with this. Family should be here any moment. So I want to show you, look at this. What do you think of that? Look at yeah. that, is that a perfect consistency? Yes, and my mom thickened this up with flour. I don't want theirs to thicken. No, <laughs> so do what you like. So if you want a little thicker, just have a little bit more of Yeah, you can keep adding it. flour to and adding yeah. it in. But that's it. It looks great. All right. Oh. I think they're finally done. I'm gonna have to that. Don't burn yourself. Mom. I know, our oven's I really high. Oh, I think Anna's is even taller, actually. Yeah. I wouldn't use herbs. I'd use the no. bottom five herbs. Look at the top. You can see the sparkly yeah. sugar. Wow, it looks so good. There we go. And Those then, turned out really yep. pretty. And your rolls are done. Those are Almost, pretty, Mom. Yep. Thanks, babe. Eight minutes. Okay. Good job, set. You have to tie it and let everybody know. Cheese. What, sweetie? Looks good, right? They're hot, okay. I'm excited to try this new bread. It smells delicious. It does. It smells like... Halloween. These are one hour rolls, guys, and they're so yummy. We have a whole squad. Yeah. Those look like the prettiest rolls I've ever seen. Kind of reminds me of the lunchroom at the school. I never had those. They look at half the homemade lunch. That's so sad. Never. Yeah. Yeah, they look good, Mom. I can't wait to have them. I think there's enough for everybody to have one or two, right? Look how bad. What is look going how on? Bad. What happened, Luna? No, no, look, she had to get into this. Don't jump. No, oh, please. <gasps> she ruined your cute thing, Amanda. She's no, no. Look, she ripped up the sod. She was so mad. Well, I'm mad at her. For putting her outside. I'm Look at this, up. she ripped it all up. Is it raining still? Yeah, it's been raining. Salad's everyone's favorite, obviously. I haven't tried Hi, guys. That's what my grandma makes this too. Yeah, it's a really good recipe. Yeah. It's very good. I love it. Is the soup good? Sorry. This um, soup and a roll. Good? Yeah. Soup and a roll. Wonderful. Do you like it? I love it. It's so good. What is the, is this yellow squash? It's yours, Anna. It's your yellow zucchini, yeah. It's good in there, right? Yeah, yeah. you just chopped it and put it in, right? Yeah. It's so good. I love that in there.